Let's talk about the different names and schedules for drugs. A more scientific term for names is nomenclature. Drugs have different names and may be known by their chemical name, generic name, and brand or trade name. The chemical name is the scientific name of the drug that is based on the actual chemical structure of the drug. For example, the drug ibuprofen's chemical name is 2P-isobutylphenylpropionic acid and is made of several chemical groups. A portion is made of the isobutyl group, the phenyl group, and propionic acid. Putting these together, we get the long chemical name, which is 2P-isobutylphenylpropionic acid. Taking parts of the chemical name, the I, the BU, the PRO, and the FEN, we come up with the shortened generic ibuprofen. The generic name is the most commonly used drug name. The brand or trade name is the name used by the manufacturer of the drug to market the drug and is protected by a patent. The names Motrin and Advil are brand names for the generic name ibuprofen. Here's a summary of the differences between the chemical, generic, and brand or trade names. Drugs may be classified as a prescription or over-the-counter based on whether or not they require a prescription to be dispensed. Prescriptions may be issued by prescribers, such as physicians, physician assistants, nurse practitioners, dentists, podiatrists, and optometrists. Over-the-counter or OTC medications may be purchased without a prescription. Drugs with higher abuse potential are classified into five different controlled substance categories called schedules, with Schedule 1 being the most restricted to Schedule 5 being the least restricted. The schedules are enforced by the Drug Enforcement Administration, or DEA, and are based on their abuse potential and capacity to lead to physical and psychological dependence. Schedule 1 drugs have the highest abuse potential and are not prescribed because they have been defined as having no clinical use. Examples of Schedule 1 drugs are heroin and LSD. Schedule 2 drugs have a high potential for abuse but have a clinical use. They are highly controlled and require a doctor to reassess, need, and re-prescribe every time, so no automatic refills. Examples include most opioids, short-acting barbiturates, amphetamines, and methylphenidate. Schedule 3 drugs have less abuse potential than Schedule 1 or 2, but are still closely monitored. Further down the line, Schedule 4 drugs have lower abuse potential and include anti-anxiety medication, like benzodiazepines. An example of a Schedule 5 drug is codeine cough syrup, which can be obtained without a prescription, typically at the pharmacy. These days, however, many pharmacies self-restrict how much, or if any, codeine cough syrup is dispensed. Now for review questions. Pause the video and consider your answers. If you chose the following, you are correct. Thanks for watching.